In today's lecture, I'm going to solve the most unique question asked by IIT JE so far. Now the question is, for the points P and Q of the coordinate plane, a new distance formula is defined by them. Usually the distance formula, what we usually use is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square and root over. Now they have redefined the distance between two points, that is mod of x2 minus x1 plus mod of y2 minus y1 here. Let's say O is the origin and A is the point 3 comma 2. So we have to prove that the set of points in first quadrant which are equidistant with respect to obviously new distance from origin as well as A. So we have to prove that the set of points are or the you can say the locus consists of union of a line segment of finite length and infinite ray. Once you get this we have to also sketch this. Okay. So let's say P is a point which is moving in the space such that it is equidistant from origin as well as equidistance from that A point. So let's write the distance according to the new formula. Let's write the distance of that P point from origin. So I think it will be equal to mod of x minus 0 plus mod of y minus 0 here. Now I can write this as x plus y because we are moving in first quadrant. They, say, uh, they are saying we are moving only in first quadrant. It's given here. So here x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0 so that I can write this as x plus y. Now, D, the point P is moving in such a way that its distance from A is equal to origin. So, let's calculate the distance of point P from A point. So, I think it is mod of X minus 3 and plus mod of Y minus 2 here. Now, these two distances are equal here. So, let's equate. So, here we'll get this as X plus Y is equal to mod of X minus 3 plus mod of Y minus 2. Now, let's solve this in the next slide. Now I have to find the locus of that P point which moves in such a way that distance from origin and distance from that A point 3 comma 2 is equal. So let's say I'm going to draw here x is equal to 3, this line, vertical line and horizontal line y is equal to 2 here. Now let's take divide into four cases here. This is case 1. Case 1 is left and right hand side of x is equal to 3 that means x is greater than or equal to 3 here and y is as you can see greater than or equal to 2 here in this region. Second case is this region, case 2. Case 2 is on the left hand side of x is equal to 3, that means x is less than 3 here and y is greater than or equal to 2. It is above the line, y is equal to 2. Now, this let's say this is case 3. In this region, we have x is less than 3 and y is less than 2 here. And case 4, case 4 is x is greater than or equal to 3 and y is less than 2. So let's work on all four cases and let's see in which region we are seeing the solution here, whether the locus exists or not. So let's start with case one. So case one is, uh, in this case, x is greater than or equal to three and y is greater than or equal to two. So x plus y is equal to mod of x minus three plus mod of y minus two. Now since x and y both are greater than or equal to three and greater than or equal to two, I can open as it is because this mod will be positive. So we'll get x plus y is equal to x minus 3 here plus y minus 2. So from clearly from here x will cancel out with x, y with y. Remaining is 0 is equal to minus 5 here. So in this region there will be no solution here. Next case, case number 2. Case 2 is I think x is less than 3 here and y is greater than or equal to 2. So I can write x plus y is equal to mod of x minus 3 plus mod of y minus 2. So in this region, I think we have to take here negative and y, y or mod will open with positive here. So x plus mod y x plus y here will be equal to I think 3 minus x because this is negative and plus y minus 2 as it is here. So I think plus y and plus y will cancel out here. We'll get this as 2x is equal to 1. This implies x is equal to half here. So I think we have, yes, we have a solution in the case 2. Solution exists here. Now next is case 3. So case 3 is x plus y is equal to mod of x minus 3 plus mod of y minus 2 here. So in case 3, I think both are less than 3 and both are, x is less than 3 and y is less than 2. That means both will open with a negative sign. So x plus y will be equal to here we'll get 3 minus x and then 2 minus y here. So 
So I think I can take x on the other side, y on the other side, we'll get this as x plus y is equal to 5 by 2. So yes, in this case also, we, has, we have solution in case 3. The solution exists here. Next, case 4. Case 4 is x plus y is equal to mod of x minus 3 plus mod of y minus 2. So in case 4, x is positive and y is negative here. So x plus y is equal to x minus 3 and then 2 minus y here. So I think plus x and plus x will cancel out. Here we'll get 2y is equal to minus 1 here. And from here I can say that this implies y is equal to minus half here. Now we are working in first quadrant and we are getting y is equal to negative. So I think we are getting a solution here but we have to reject because we are working in first quadrant. So this is not a solution. We're going to reject this option. Okay. So only solution exists in I think in case number two in case number three. Let's plot this. Now for the final solution, we have to find the locus of that P point which is moving in such a way that distance from origin and distance from that A point that is 3, 2 is equal. So I got the final solution from case 2 and from case 3. Now let's plot this point. Okay. Now it's given that we have to prove the final solution set is consist of union of one is infinite ray and one is finite ray. So I'm going to prove here. Now x is equal to half, I'm going to plot in the region 2. So x is equal to half is a vertical line here like this. And it's going to meet here this line in this region. Now this point is I think half comma 2 here because it is meeting on the line y is equal to 2. Now from this point onwards we're going to draw in case 3. In, in case 3 it is a line x plus y is equal to 5 by 2. Now if you notice one more thing here that is x plus y is equal to 5 by 2 this line is satisfying this point half comma 2. That means it's going to pass through this point and the x intercept of this line is 5 by 2 and this is 3 comma 0 here. So I think it will be something like this and it's going to intersect at 5 by 2 comma 0. So this is the line x plus y is equal to 5 by 2 here and this is the line x is equal to half here. So as you can see here we have an infinite ray here and we have a finite ray in the region 3 and infinite ray in the region 2. So that's the final solution and that will be all.